Hey guys, this week I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite Google search tricks that I use all the time. Um, throughout the day people ask me questions and I don't always know the answer to them and so I have to go and try to find the answer so that I can help them. And most of the time I say, I don't know, I'll Google it. And the problem with that is there are so many answers and websites out there that we kind of need to understand how it works before we can use these Google tricks. So imagine there's this huge ocean of information and we want to search something. What a search engine does is it scans all the pages that are out there and looks for those specific things that you type in and then it organizes them. For example, if I search boat, it says here's all the websites that have boat in it and then it organizes it and lists them as the search results. Okay, the problem with that is whenever we research, sometimes we get things that we don't need. Okay, and I'm going to show you an example and then I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. Okay, so say that I'm researching jaguars and I'm trying to find all the information I can about the animal, the jaguar. The problem with that is there's also a car called a jaguar and there's also a football team called a jaguar. So I might not get the results that I want and so I don't have to dig and dig and dig and go down to you know page two and three and four of the Google um, search results down here. I can search it and do minus car and let's see how it compares. All right, you see I don't have this Jaguar logo. I don't, I don't have the website for the car. I just have stuff about Jaguar animals. Okay, and if I wanted to search that wasn't football, wasn't about the Jacksonville Jaguars, I could do minus football. Okay, let's look at another one. So say I search apple. I need information on apples, the fruit, the food, not apple like iPhone or iPad or Mac. Um, I want information just on apples. So let's try it over here. I don't want stuff about the computers or iPads or stuff like that, but I do know that I want fruit. So if I do plus fruit, whenever that search engine scans all the web pages, it's scanning them for the word apple and the word fruit, and it's only going to pull up those web pages that contain both apple and fruit. So you can see how these pages that are have to do with, you know, the iPhone company, they don't have fruit they don't have the word fruit on them so by adding fruit as a requirement I can uh, make my um, results filter down and be a lot smaller see I went from 1.5 billion let's see if you can see that I went from 1.5 billion down to 147 million so still a whole lot but it also took out a lot of stuff without me having to dig for it Another trick that I use a lot and that is the site trick and that's if I want to search a particular site for something. So say that I'm doing research on Walt Disney. When I search Walt Disney I get 80 million results and that ranges from Disney.com, Wikipedia, Biography, Disney World, um, a bunch of news articles, um, but I just want to look up his information on biography.com. Okay, so in the this Google trick, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. I am going to search Walt Disney, and I'm going to do site colon biography.com. Okay, be sure that you do not put a space here. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to tell Google, I want you to search for Walt Disney, but only on biography.com. Okay, so see how all of these results now are only from biography.com. And you can see the results, how much they differ. I have 80 million over here, and whenever I search just specifically biography.com, I get 384 results. <laughs> I'm searching for John F. Kennedy's kids, so I would 
but don't you put that in there? What type of plus? Did you create? Kids, so it would bring up all of them. You know, um, they said Kenny Washington. You can see it, it pops up right there. You aren't limited to just one trick whenever you are Googling something. You can use the plus and minus sign together or some of these others. I have created this cheat sheet for some of the most helpful Google tricks that you can use whenever you are searching something or doing research. You can access this by clicking on the link here. I hope you enjoyed this tech tip and I hope that you all have a great day. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and if I don't know the answer, I'll Google it.